oh, I think we're alive. <laughs> I have a sign there to say we are on live. So um, we we don't see the actual, oh, here we go. I'm trying to, oh, there we go. We are on live on Embassy of Hope Australia. So I'm going to remove that so I don't have the sounding coming through the back. So, yeah, greetings, everyone. We want to greet everyone, all our viewers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I our do. Savior, the one that um, Christmas was all about, the one, the one reason why we all gathered just uh, a few days ago to celebrate. So in the name of Jesus, we want to welcome all of you, you who are, will be listening to us now or will be listening to us later on it's really an honor and a privilege that you will join us we are so excited here today because today is the day that the lord put in our heart to come and share with you with each one of you what god is saying to the nations what god is saying to all of us in this year in this coming year 2021 we are almost to the end of 2020 and it's been an amazing, incredible year. But as we approach 2021, we have been um, hearing from the Lord. We have been seeking God in what he is saying. I know that uh, there are many known prophets uh, in the body of Christ that have already declared, decree what God, what they feel that God is saying to the nation. But I purposely not listen to any of it <laughs> i purposely uh did not listen or hear any of the prophetic words that have gone out for 2021 because god had um set this day for us to come and declare to you so i am so excited i want to hear what he says through us and no doubt because we serve the the king of kings and the lord of lord we serve the one god that one spirit and one voice, and no doubt we will be hearing the same. So I uh, want to especially welcome our special guest here today, Pastor Len Nakawara from all the way from Fiji. Welcome, sir. I also want to welcome uh, my dear friend and partner in, in ministry, Tien Nguyen. Welcome, ma'am. We're looking forward to hearing what God has to um, to say to us. So before we do that, I just want to uh, pray. Father God, we thank you. We commit this time into your hands. We are excited to hear what you say for the year 2021. And before we go there, Lord, we want to uh, take this moment Father God, to say thank you. Thank you so much for what you have done and still doing, Father God, in 2021. We want to thank you for your great mercy, for your great love, for your great movement in our lives throughout this whole year of 2021. So we want to commit this recording into your hands, Father God. Lord, let every person who will be hearing this recording be blessed because we know that you are in our midst. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, we want to start with Pastor Len. Pastor Len, I know um, uh, before you will share what God had put in your heart for 2021, in the past, in September, uh, just a few months ago, we came together with uh, other um, uh, leaders from, from the world and we got together and we came together as sons of Issachar. As we know, the sons of Issachar know the time and the seasons of God. They, they had to know the time and the seasons of God so that they will know what to do. And so I thank God for the word that you, procl you proclaim, prophesy. And, and some of those words, um, uh, Pastor Len, you were declaring when we came together and prayed in 26 September, you spoke out, the Lord had put in your heart, you spoke and you said, we are in a time and season that things are moving swiftly and quickly. As sons, we must act and move with God. It's time to act. Time to act is now. 
We are in a new era. Like sons of Issachar, we must know and discern the time we are in. This is a season of, of productivity. This is what was declared and decreed for year 20, 2020. New things are being birthed, not only in the spiritual realm, but in the natural. We must preach the word of God like never before, using every media that is accessible right now. I thank God for that word, sir, because that's just what I was trying to do. And I know that I, I've seen a new thing that's been birthing. I've seen the, the people, the sons of God, I heard this uh, word and they move swiftly. And I, 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 I see... Uh, new creation that have been come forth because of this very word that's been spoken. So before I carry on, Pastor Len, would you um, uh, introduce yourself and maybe uh, share what God has uh, mandated in your life there in the island of Fiji, and then you share what God has put in your heart for 2021. Thank you so much, um, Apostle Ilga Noa, for that uh, lovely introduction. Uh, my name is uh, Pastor Len Nakarawa, uh, Len Itasi Nakarawa, and um, I'm the founder of uh, Cross Connection Christian Ministry, which is based here in Suva, Fiji. And our mission statement is to raise up a generation who will openly display the raw love and power of God to activate a movement of revivalists who will love passionately, live life abundantly, and walk unreservedly in the supernatural power of God. Father's love is totally revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, extending the kingdom of God through equipping, anointing, and empowering of the Holy Spirit for signs, wonders, and miracles. We are a ministry about the supernatural, love, grace, power, and the presence of God. And it's a, a great privilege to meet um, Pastor Ilga Noah, Apostle Ilga Noah, and also his, uh, her, uh, her lovely husband here in Fiji, where we connected first on uh, uh, the year 2017, where we uh, uh, organized a, a, an outreach for them at the lovely island of the old capital of Fiji in Levuka, where the body of Christ came together and attended that meeting. Uh, mostly the, uh, uh, the, 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 apost the apostolic and, the, and, the, and the, the churches all around in Levuka. And it was, I tell you, it was a, a, a time of awakening and a time of revival for our people in the island. I still cannot forget those days where the power of God moved mightily and swept across the people who attended those uh, meetings. And uh, that's where we had a connection. And also now we are we are in partnership with Ilinganoa uh, on this wavelength, on this platform. And it's really, really a great opportunity you know, to come and network together for such a season in this. And I believe God is placing us together for this last season of our race together for, for a great awakening like never before. And as she has said already, that we have in a new norm right now, a new norm, a new day and a new season. And I believe God has given me the, 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 uh, the, the, the word today uh, as we enter into this, a new season coming 2021 we are you are entering into your new season of great exploits <laughs> a new season of great exploit and it is very important as we enter into this new season of great exploit we must learn to finish strong finish strong and I believe Dr. Apostle Ilgono was speaking about finishing strong on 2020, because that will determine how you enter into 2021. How you leave 2020 determines how you enter 2021. And if we finish strong with the momentum we finish on 2020, that exactly takes us over to 2021. 
and our new season of Great Exploit Explored is about to be revealed. It's about to be, uh, uh, open right in front of our eyes. Some are already on that, on this level right now, a great momentum. And what we need to do is we must strengthen what remains. Whatever remains, we must strengthen. Learn to strengthen whatever you have on this 2020 and begin to strengthen it, work on it, and move on to 2021. Very important to know your power source, who your God is. If you have desire to do great and big and mighty impossible things for God, then you have to fully understand who your God is. To know your God means not just know about him. It's about having an intimate relationship <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is a must. That is a plumb line for every Christian that is listening to our voice today on this platform. Intimacy, your time with God must be your highest priority. No wonder Jesus was telling uh, a Philip like this, Philip, if you really have known me, you would know who my father is. Man, this, they were together for more than uh, three years by now, and Philip was still asking this question, who is the father? Who really? But Jesus says, if you really know me, if you really have an intimate relationship with me, then you would really know who the father is. And Jesus carried on said, if you have seen me, then you have seen who the Father is. And that is okay. very important to know him intimately. And God has given us the mandate to know him. And Jesus has said, it is better for me to go so that I can send another of the same kind, another of the same uh, attribute, another of the same spirit to be with you, around you, and live and reside and abide in the inside of you. And that is the Paracletos, the Holy Spirit, the one who has been sent in moments of our need. He comes alongside us. He's there always. And we get to know the person of the Holy Spirit. That is my second point. And this time, when you move on from 2020 to 2021, you've got to climatize your, your level of intimacy has to go to another level, another facet of your closeness in meeting with your Heavenly Father like never before. It's a love relationship with Him on a daily basis that makes that that you just want to hang on and spend time and, and just love the presence and talking with him and relating with him. See, the Holy Spirit is a person. He's a person that you can relate with, that you can talk with, that you can uh, uh, share your heart with, your things that are bothering you right there in your mind. The Holy Spirit is there. He, he's the one who's been sent to you to come in moments of your need. In whatever circumstances, in whatever crisis that you are facing right now, the Holy Spirit is so near. Near than the clothes that you my friend. You must know that he <laughs> wants to come and fill you with great power so that you can be able to do great works like Jesus said. When I go, you will be able to do greater works than I can do. So when the Holy Spirit, the one who has unlimited power, unlimited resources, and now is living, abiding, and residing in you, comes in you, gives you the know-how, gives you the strategy, gives you the wisdom, gives you the insight, I tell you, you will be unlimited. Nothing will limit you. Nothing will stop you. All things, the Bible says, with God, all things are possible you will move into the supernatural realm like never before. You will make the supernatural your natural realm. Oh, I love that. That's when you allow the Holy Spirit to be your best mate, to be your best friend, to be around you in moments, whatever you are going through. Right now, a lot of people are still putting together, worrying about what they have to do come 2021. 20, but I tell you, you can enter 
to 2021 and say, tell yourself, begin to declare into the atmosphere, I'm entering my new season of great exploits like never before. This is a great season of great opportunities. This is a great season of greater doors. This is a great season of more than enough, of abundance, of bountifully harvest. This is a great season of great health, of great wealth, of great yes. life and living in Christ Jesus, our Lord. It's all up to you. So your confession will be your possession. What you say is what you will have. What you see is what you will have. If you can see it, I always tell my viewers, if you can see it in the realm of the spirit, it's yours for the taking. Whatever you are seeing right now, I pray that you will align your heart, that you will align your mind, that you will allow everything concerning your soul, your will, your mind, and emotion to see from the perspective of God, what God is seeing concerning your life. You are special. You are one of a kind. You are unique. God has great gifts, great talents already in the inside of you. You just have to showcase whatever God has already embedded in the depths of your heart like never before. You can do it with God. All things are possible with God, we in the body of Christ are called to be vessel that God works through to accomplish his purpose, to accomplish his skill. We have been created in Christ, bold and new, that we may do good and works which God predestined, planned beforehand, before we were conceived in our mother's womb. Exploit should be not be unusual for us. Remember, we are working with God Himself. We should wow. not. Ex we should always expect miracles, signs and wonders, new things, new ideas, creative ways yes. of doing things like never before. Because God is always doing new things in the new season. And come 2021, I believe with all my heart, with all what I'm speaking right now, I'm pouring out now over this atmosphere. God is going to do new things in your life. If you can receive it, you can have it. You can take it. The things which are impossible with men, as Luke says, Jesus says, is possible with God. Luke chapter 18, verse 20, 20, 27. With God, all things are possible in Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. In Mark chapter 9, verse 23. All things are possible to him that believe. You only need to have faith and believe. If you can believe the word of God, as I've just shared already, that it's yours for the taking. The word of God is God's boundary. He bound, he's bounded to the authority of his word. And he will make sure to come and deliver the promises that he has already told you to deliver. And I tell you today, my friend, the, it's, it's, it's new to us, but it's not new to God. It's already, God knows already. And I believe God will start to, to give new mantles to new people. Yeah. Give new yeah. mantles. This is yeah. year 2021. God is going to give you, if you are hungry enough, if you are desperate enough, if you are ready enough, God is going to give you new mantle. Mantles that are rare. And there are five folds already in the ministry. God has given us a fivefold that are already here to equip you in order to know how to work with those mental that God is giving you. And this mental will be given to those who are fearless, to those that are willing, to those that are obedient, those that are hungry, to those that are thirsty, to those that are longing and looking for it. They know, I know for sure, God is up to something for my love. And I know for sure he wants me, he wants me to go to another level, to another new season, a season of plenty, a season of more than I'm, and more than enough. That's what God wants to do. And a season where you will do great exploit for the kingdom of God, speaking for the oracles of God like never before, around the spheres of your influence, to those that God has called you to work with like never before. 
God is going to do that. He's going to do that, I tell you. He's going to do that if you only believe the word of God. His word is sure. His word is right. He will make sure that he will give you, yes, the desires of your heart if you only believe. Only believe. Yes, I pray that come 2021 that you will stretch the capacity of your faith, that you will extend the border around of your faith, that God, that your prayer will be like the prayer of Jabez. And he said, bless me indeed and extend the borders and extend the parameters and extend the boundaries. Oh, my God. Of my faith. Let that be your prayer today. Let that be your prayer today. Lord, bless me indeed and extend the boundaries of my faith. As you extend the boundaries of my faith, I tell you, faith is going to the unknown zone. Faith is going to the extra mile. Faith is going is taking the taking the extra risk. Faith is going to unknown zones like never before. I tell you, those unknown zones are God's zone. Those unknown zones where you will find the, the, the wisdom and the inside of God like never before. When you go with the Holy Spirit, who is your guide, guiding you and leading you and taking you to the unknown zone, because the Spirit of God will lead you into all truth. I love that. He will lead you into all truth. Hallelujah. And nevertheless. And I pray that this year coming, 2021, will be a great year for every one of us. And I believe God is going to, to finish what you have started already this year. God is going to take you to another level what you have started. If you haven't started, I pray that you start in the next few hours before we have finished 2020 yeah. so that you can finish strong and enter with an expectancy, knowing that you are entering your new season with great exploit and God is on your side. Thank you, Elinor. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, Bless glory, your heart. glory. Both. Yeah. I I feel like I've just heard from Father God's heart. And yes, of course, that was Father's heart. Wow, what a, what a Father we have. You know, I'm looking forward to listening to this over and over and over again because I don't want to miss what Father is saying. What an explosion of blessing abundantly over and above. That is our Father. Oh, thank you, Pastor Lynn. Thank you for your prophetic voice and thank you for your obedience. Thank you for your humility and thank you for your yieldedness to the voice of God. Hallelujah. I want to thank uh, our viewers who are joining us today. Uh, Sister Saitalia, Vice President of Embassy of Hope. We have uh, Pastor Claude from Kenya, another partner of Embassy of Hope in Kenya. We have our sister Maggie. Oh my gosh, these are the sons of God arising. They are receiving the word, they are eating the word, and they shall manifest the word as it's been spoken. Glory, glory to God. Father God, I thank you. Oh wow, I'm just absolutely in awe of his voice today. I'll come back to you, Pastor, <laughs> oh, Prophet. Uh, I want to, uh, let's move on to Tien. Tien uh, had been a prophetic voice uh, for Embassy of Hope in the past uh, few months. Uh, I just want to remind uh, Tien, you were part of that uh, prayers for the nations and you brought out as well as Pastor uh, Lynn uh, what God was saying for 2020. These are just some of the words that I noted you spoke. This is the decade. We're in a decade and we're in a year of the mouth. <laughs> I remember that. You spoke that. This is 2020. It's a year of, a of the mouth. Oh, my gosh. We have just heard a mouth. We have just heard a voice of God. This is a, so 2020, uh, uh, TN, you were saying it's the year of the mouth. It's a year to declare the word of God. We have just heard the declaration of the word of God. You know what? 
You know, the Bible says that when, when his word is gone forth, it shall not return to him void. No way. Every word that has been spoken to in that time when we got together with leaders from different part of the world and de de they declare and decree, I've seen those words happening. I mean, from, from the people that I see and the people that are around me, I've seen the manifestation of the declaration of the prophetic word of God that had been prophesied then. And another word that you said, um, Tien, from the Lord is uh, not to be intimidated. It's 2020 is not the year to, to, to lay down and be intimidated, uh, but use your mouth. And I know yourself, you got online and you started using your mouth, speaking the word of God. Mm -hmm. And also uh, 2020 has been a year of reset and time of increase intimacy with god and here we are we hear it again from pastor lynn because how can we bring out the word of god that's been spoken how can we manifest and do the great exploit it's always and will always be out of the intimate relationship with god so then i want to give you this opportunity now would you share with us uh, say a little bit about uh, yourself and share with us what the Father has put in your heart. Thank you, Pastor Noah. Um, can you all hear me all right? Okay, that's good. Um, my name is Tian. I originally came from Vietnam, but I have been living in Australia for 45 years. I married to an Australian man, Wayne. He's beautiful. He's very forbearing, very kind. And I'm a mother of three grown-up children and one grandson. Um, I was a qualified registered nurse, but I worked as a teacher and as a public servant for many years. Um, all my life, I have been a Christian, but I'm very much aware of the voice of God speaking to me and to others for the last two decades. Um, I've been to prophetic school here in Canberra. That's where I live. And also I've been part of um, a global um, I think um, Global Leadership University, which is based in America. Um, I've known Apostle Noah since 2012 in the ministry for House of Honor, but we lost touch for a number of years and God just reconnected us this year again in September. And I got involved with the Embassy of Hope Australia ministry since end of September. And it's just been a huge learning curve for me. Um, I just love the fact that God just give us opportunity to grow. If, if you hungry, you desire for God, he will open more and more doors. And that is what I believe he gives me for 2021. The verses that he gave me was in, um, is in Isaiah 48. I just read it out to you. Come near me and listen to this. From the first announcement, I have not spoken in secret. At the time it happens, I am there. What he's trying to say to us in this one is, he is saying many of us are asking the questions. God, do you know what's going on? 2020 has uh, unfolded many things that um, turn everything upside down, topsy-turvy. Our lives have been challenged so much that we ask God the question, God, don't you know what's going on? And he said, I'm here. I know everything. Nothing has taken me by surprise. <laughs> yeah. said, you know, I know it all. I'm the beginning and the end. I'm the alpha and the omega. I'm everything in between. So don't, don't fluster. Don't worry. Don't be anxious. And he's just saying, he, I know it all. I'm in it. I'm in it. But you know, God gives me the word that he is a redemptive God. Yeah. Doesn't matter what's happening in our lives. He always brings redemption. And we need to look at the hands of God, how he brings redemption. He brings something that's opposite to what we experience, what we see, what we hear. And I love that. And because this is the God whom we can trust. The next thing he says in Isaiah 58, verse 
48, I mean, 48 verse 17 is, I am the Lord your God who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way you should go. So I believe that for 2021, he's going to give us a strategy. I love yeah. it because for me, the way I learn is God with me step by step. Um, because that's the way my mind works. And I know some of you are working like that with your mind. You need to know A, B, C, D. And so this is what God gives me. First, he says, 2020 is a, just a foretaste of what is coming. Don't expect things to come back to normal again. Because this is going to be the new normal for us. Mm. Therefore, we must trust God. We must trust God, like Pastor Len said before, and like God has been saying for the last, <laughs> for, for however long he has been saying, intimacy with him is yeah. the most important thing. So he talked to me about uh, childlike character qualities. Why is it a childlike character qualities? A lot of you say, hey, come on, look, you know, you look at the children, they mess up. Yes, but there are things about children that we need to look at. The first thing is humility. Children has humility. And he completely trusts in his parents. They're completely dependent on their parents. They don't go and go off and do their own things. They always trust, trust absolutely. And they are very helpless without their parents' help. They completely depend on, on their parents and they are very vulnerable without their parents. So this is what we must look at the children and walk the same way with God. We must depend on God completely and totally for 2021, but also for this decade. We must have humility because humility will get us far and further onward and upward with God if we have humility. Without that, we're going to fall. We're going to fall because what is about to unfold we don't know but if we walk in humility and completely trust god he will take us there and we can work with him much better too otherwise we always fight with him and say no i don't want to do that lord i don't want to do that but if you just put your trust in him and he will take you through because he knows the way he he yeah. walks before us he is beside us and he is our real god and he's not going to let us fall. His word says he will never forsake us nor leave us. And he will also vindicate us in times of trouble, mm -hmm. in times when we need him the most. So childlike um, character mm -hmm. qualities is very important because it helps us to walk with him, put our hands in his hand and let him take us through this journey. Because what we are going through, like Pastor Len said before, we haven't walked this way before. It is a completely new walk. But if we put our hands in his hands, we'll be fine. And God also asks us to do three things. Obedient, faith-filled, and faithfulness. What does that mean? When we trust in him completely with a childlike faith, we will obey him. Whatever he says, goes. Yeah. Whatever he says, we'll do it. Yes, you might ask him a question, why? But not so much the why, but so much is, for what reason do you want me to do that? And he will explain to us. Yeah. I found over the years, the why question can get us stuck mm -hmm. in that place because we always say, why, why, why? And because in our heart, we don't want to do it. But when you ask him the question, for what reason do you want me to do that? He will explain. He will explain yeah. his way to, to, to you. Over the years, I found the what for has been most helpful for me. So obedient to the word of God, obedient his guidance, obey him absolutely. The next thing is you have to have faith-filled walk with him. Without the faith-filled you will find it's hard to obey him. Faith field is actually when you read the word of God and you take God's word at its face value. Don't question him. Whatever he says goes. Whatever he says yes. is it. There's nothing you can add to it 
or remove from it. It is as it is. Take God's word as it is and allow his word to do the transformation in you. Yes. Intimacy comes from his word. Intimacy comes from your relationship with him through reading his word, through praying, through talking to him, through connecting with him, no matter what happened. Connect, connect, connect. That is so important. It doesn't matter how your days has turned out. If it's bad, connect. If it's good, connect. I can't stress any more than that. And faithfulness, okay, faithfulness. It comes from obeying his word. As a faithful spirit, you, you have to be faithful. What he means is faithful in the small things as well as in the big things. Now, he shows me that the small thing is usually happens when there's only you and him. No one, no one knows you. No one knows what's going on. But if you are faithful in the little things, he will take you through and give you bigger things. If you're faithful for the little things, he will entrust in you bigger things and bigger even. So just stay faithful to him. Trust him. Obey him. Another thing show me in this season, there will be great difficulties. I remember the word I shared with you in September. One of the things is seeds. The seeds that he is giving, he's putting back in your hands right now. These are the seeds that he gave you before, but for some reason, it has not germinated. Maybe because it was um, sown and was not looked after, or has been trampled on, has been thrown away, has gone moldy, or it was not timed well. You, you sow the seed in the wrong season. That's what it means. But now he gives them all back to you and they are in your hands. And these are opportunities, divine opportunities. Like Pastor Len said before, if you hunger for more of God, if you desire to walk in his way, you know what? He will germinate, allow these seeds to grow and germinate again. There will be doors I've seen doors that are open. God is saying to me, these doors are no longer, the doors are no longer shut, but they open wide. And you know which are these doors because he has, he has spoken to you. He has given you the desires of your heart. These doors are the desires in your heart that he has put in there for you. The doors are open. You will know which door. But to walk into those doors, you have a hunger for more of him. You desire to walk with him, to do his will, to see kingdom, his kingdom comes, and you have an intimacy with God. You will walk through these doors. These doors remain open, and no man, no demon, no angel, nothing can shut these doors. They are open. For you so you don't need to guess which door you know these doors but the way that you can have these doors remain open for you and take back what the enemies have taken from you is through intimacy with god through trusting the holy spirit through walking in spirit and in truth with him remember these are the doors there are seeds that God has given them back to you. And this is the season that you can take them back. All the years that the workers have been eaten, you know what? He's giving them back to you. And they have to give them back to you sevenfold. This is a year of England. 2021 and decade will be a time of increase. Yes. It is funny, you know, because it seems like in the world, everything is taken away from us, okay? But no, not with God. He's a redemptive God, and he is given this all back to us. Hallelujah. Wow, and hallelujah. Oh, this is our heavenly father. He is so loving. He is so kind to us, you know? So you don't have to worry, but just trust in him. Put your trust in him. And also, I believe 2021, and the year's coming also an opportunity for acceleration. Wow. Like, 
as the man said before, you know, it's you got to act quickly. When God says it, you act quickly. Yes, swiftly, quickly with him. Seize the moment. And you know what? God will take you through. God will take you through for sure. You know, once you get in, you say, God, I want to be counted in. I want to be part of what you are doing. I'm going to put all my trust in you. Oh, Lord, I'm going to trust in your word. Holy Spirit, help me. You know what? The momentum of acceleration will happen for you. Wow. Yes. I'm just so excited because there's no moment wasted. It's not a season where God said, okay, you know, whatever. Oh, you think that God's going to make you wait. It's going to happen straight away. And I just want to add something here that God told me after I received this word is when you have a childlike character qualities in you, one of them is humility. And it is very important for those of you who just young believers, young Christians, you haven't walked with the Lord for um, a long time. And you take this opportunity to get in and say, God, I want everything that you have for me. I wanted to develop this intimate relationship with you. I want to be all that you want me to be. And you find God opens doors, accelerate things. And you think, wow, miracles happens in your mouth. Whatever you say, whatever you pray, whatever you decree, it happens. But keep humility. Keep your humility with you. Don't look down at those who have walked with you who have walked long before you. They have paved the path for you. They have opened the way for you. Show them respect. Give them honor. Don't think that you are better and greater and bigger than them. Please keep that humility so that you walk right before God. And for those of you who have walked for many years with the Lord, but haven't seen much or have seen very little, now you see the young ones coming in and they seem like they overtake you. Please remember the <laughs> character quality, which is humility, which means so that good. you need to keep in check. Don't be envious. Don't be jealous of them, but help them. Help them because God will use the fathers and the mothers in the faith to help these young ones together. Different generations. We're going to do this together for God. We cannot say we go without the older ones. No, the younger ones. We need everyone on board. Yes. So that's why the childlike character qualities is very important because it keeps you um, to, to have that awe of God. When you look at him, you realize that we are nothing. You are nothing without him. But together, we can be a strong community. The strong body of Christ that he wants okay so that is to do with acceleration but I just want to say that um, my passion all the time is to see the kingdom of God advancing but one of the things that God gives me all the time is just like the picture of the Israelite moving into the promised land during the Joshua time he told me go to the back and make sure that the old, the young, everyone is moving across the Jordan River. No one is left behind, <laughs> whatever the reason. So that's why my word, the word that God gives me to share with you is to encourage the frail, the weak, the lame, the young, the, the pregnant, the old one, come on, you can do it, you can do it. You know, God showed me the kingdom of God is, is for everyone, not for the, the qualified, not for the strong, not for the rich, not for, not for those who think that they've got it all there, but it's also for those who are lame, are weak, yes. cannot move fast, are old, young, for everyone, the opportunity is for all of us. So he he would tell me to go to the back of the line and see, make sure everyone and say, come on, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. God is there for you. And so I just want you, wherever you are, to be encouraged that this is not for the strong, not just for the strong, but also for all of you who feel that, what, what can I be for God? 
look, you don't know me. You don't know my background. You don't know my family history. You don't know, you don't know this. Yes, I might not know it, but God knows. And he said, it's for you. It's for all of you. Yes. My story is like that. I didn't think I was good for God. But he called me up. He called me up. He encouraged me. And so I just want to encourage all of you. 2020, don't look at what you see around you. Don't hear what you hear on the media. Don't hear what people are gossiping and talking about. Remember, your eyes need to be on Jesus. You must hear him. You must read the word. Do everything and pray and connect with God. Connect with God no matter what. He knows where you are. He knows the problem that you are going through. But he is the redemptive God and he brings redemption. Yes. Oh, God is so good. I just want you to know that. He has everything for you for 2021. It's the year of increase. It's the decade of increase. He told me that. And unlike what the world is telling you, okay, but he is ready to increase us wherever we are. And he's going to increase and take us onward and upward with him. Hallelujah. That's the word. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. What father's heart again. <laughs> That's really all I'm hearing today since we come together. Servants of God, father's heart, how beautiful, how huge and vast his heart is for each of us and everyone who may not never, everyone that may never get to hear this because maybe they never will have Facebook Live or they will never have a phone or they will never have the technology that we have. And so the words that we declare today, it's for all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak these words and we send this word forth for the healing of the nations right to the utmost end of the world. The four corners of the world is word. Your word, Father God, will go way beyond technology. Where technology can't take your word, Holy God, you will take your word to the four corners of the world. The word that you're speaking right now, as it goes out on the airways, as it goes out to the spiritual realm, Father God, we thank you that you are reaching to the utmost ends of the earth because that is who you are. That is who you are, Father. That is who you are, God. You are full of love, compassion, and grace and mercy over us. Glory, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wow, I never know where to connect after you hear such powerful word. Thank you, Father. And I want to also remind, I just want to remind again, some of the words that have been prophesied that was spoken out by our um, apostle friend, Stubbs, partner in ministry, Embassy of Hope, uh, Oasis Television Network, who have been part, um, partnering with us. These are some of the words that she also declared and spoke out. And I've seen those words uh, manifesting in, in this year, 2020. Apostle friend Stubbs said one of the things that that one of the words that she delivered from the Lord is that this 2020, this new era that we're in is the year and the time for strong leaders to raise up. You see, hearing hearing you, Pastor Lynn, and hearing you, Minister Tien, uh, I hear the voice of strong leaders. And I thank God that these words that has been spoken out earlier on by the prophet ha have come to pass. And I know that we're not the only ones. God is raising up strong leaders so that they will be able, strong leaders will be able, just like your heart as you share, strong leaders not to, <clears throat> not to be, 
are known as strong and, and popular and they may never be popular. <laughs> they may never be popular because they, the strong leaders will be the leaders that will go at the back, just like you said, Tien, that will go at the back because of the anointing of intimacy over their lives. Strong leaders that God is wanting to raising, raise up in these seasons are the ones that will go right back and help the weak help the lame help the one who cannot walk fast that's me sometimes i tell you that help the one who never heard of jesus christ there are the strong leaders and that's one of the words that was spoken out for 2020 and also 2020 had been a year of reset the year of not shrinking back and the year of the spirit of issachar this has been that year 2020 had been that year the year of the spirit of Issachar and the spirit of Issachar for us is the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. So God is looking from this year where 2020, when everything was changing, God was looking for strong leaders that will be like uh, the sons of Issachar that will hear the voice of the spirit and shoot forth, forth and execute just as God has spoken, speaking the oracles of God, just like you shared, um, Pastor Len. So these are these years, 2020. And so I see 2021 as a year of these strong leaders that will rise up. Strong as not as in muscly, in the, in the physical or or, or want to be out there and, and be the number one. No, no, no. The strength, the strong leaders that God is sending forth is the ones with the father and the mother's heart that will gather, that will collect everyone, just like as you said, Tien, that will see the river flow and making sure that everybody gets in that river. That is the 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 strong leaders that god is speaking about so father i thank you father god for this time um i just want to uh ask you pastor Len, if you will add to the acceleration like i know you walk this i know you carry this and i know you manifest this uh from the lord would you just uh continue with that acceleration that uh Tien was mentioning. Tien, you, you got it as well. I know you live it, you speak it. We've just seen it. Uh, Len, would you uh, bring um, an extension of that? The acceleration that God is, yeah. is, is having us now. Yeah, we must be, be willing and obedient to accelerate at the level God is taking us to. And we must be ready and willing to follow God at every path that he's leading us to. It is very, very vital to hear his voice, to hear his leading to what he has speaking to us. Because God will always speak to his anointed people that is speaking right now. Those that are already in the platform right now. He he uses people, he uses his vessel to speak to his people. And I pray that you will take God at his word. Every word that has been spoken in this atmosphere, you will take God at his word. Not only you will hear, but you will begin to act. That you will begin to activate every word that God is speaking to you right now. He's for you. He's with you. He wants to make sure that every member of your family yes. is been safe. No one is left behind. No one is left behind. That everybody must be ready for that last flight. That everybody must be ready for the final call. That everybody must be ready when the trumpets sound. And we are now sounding that voice. And God is accelerating everything, quickening everything like never before. And now it's a season for us to stand up and be counted and stand up and fight for our families. If your family is still out there in the world, if your loved one is still out there in the world, I pray today that 
You will be a man. You will be a woman who will stand in the gap and begin to stand and fight for your family like never before. See that your family be returned to the fold. See that your family come back into the kingdom. You may be having some hard times right now. Let me tell you, God is for you. God is with you. If God is for us, who else can be against us? See, move past your obstacle. Move past your, your challenges and prepare for what is about to unfold in the next season. Because those challenges and those obstacles prepare you to move ahead for your next level, for your next breakthrough, for next, what God is about to uh, reveal to you come 2021. It's just a few hours from now. So discernment is the key to move yes. into that realm where God wants us to move. And we must discern everything in front of us, everything behind us, everything on the left, everything on the right, everything around us as we continue to focus and put our eyes on God, put our eyes on him, think about him daily, allow the word of God to resent over your heart, over your mind, meditate upon the word day and night. That is the secret to success like never before. The word, you must love the word, you must eat the word, you must declare the word, you must confess the word, you must practice the word. No, he is for you. No, he is with you. He's not against you. He is for you. <laughs> and he's setting you up for great exploit come 2020. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2021, the year of acceleration. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Wow, there is such a, just to hear from you, servants of God, there's such an urgency <laughs> in the hour. It's not a time to lay down. It's not a time to, to, to um, be lazy. It's not time to camp too quick, but it's time to accelerate in God. How do we get the, how do we experience and know the acceleration of God? It's from a place of intimate see with him intimate connection with him i pray that you will will try and hear this word again because there's so much in it but as um i don't know um all right that's just me <laughs> this is what god had put in me not so much because the servants of god here has declare and decree the words for the lord for 2021 but this is what the lord had dropped in my spirit this morning and he said, nor pick up those keys, keys, pick up those keys that have been laying around. You see the keys? And God said to me this morning, there are keys from our Father God that have been given to us this year 2020 but they are still haven't been picked up if you can see those keys there have been keys we've heard about the open doors in 2020 there are more open doors in 2021 but for 2020 we are probably about maybe 10 hours away to midnight before we enter into the 2021 we still have a few hours it's not too late yeah. there have been keys that someone needs to pick up they belong to this year you need to pick up could these keys be yours i found some keys i have found some keys could this be yours these keys God had given us for 2021 because we have been busy, because we've got caught up with life, because we have been trying so much to for things to go back the way we were and we miss the keys for the great opportunities and the new doors that God has given us. Could these be your keys? We still got a few hours. It's not too late yet. It could be the key to open up the door to enter into an amazing relationship with Jesus Christ. Could this be yours? 
It could be the keys to your healing. Could this be your keys? Got your name on it. You can pick it up. It's not too late. It could be the keys to freedom from those prison doors that you have been locked in for years. These keys are here for this year that do not enter into 21 from with locked and imprisonment of 2020. Could this be your keys? That these keys could be to heal your broken heart from broken relationship. Come on, pick it up. You can unlock the doors that you've imprisoned, the people that have hurt you. You can unlock that door and let them go. Free yourself and free them as well. Do not take sorrow and bitterness and unforgiveness of 2021, 2020 to the year 2021. Could be, this could be your keys that have been, uh, have been, you have been seeing in the spirit maybe. There have been keys that maybe someone have been given you. It could be an opportunity for you from the Lord. There have been opportunities, but you haven't picked up your keys. Could this be yours? It could be the key to unlock fear in your heart that blocks you from moving on and moving forward in God. Pick up your keys. It's not too late. Fear can stop up us from moving into the great exploits that God has for us. Could this be your keys? There's a few more hours to go yet in 2021, but you know it's not too late. And if you're hearing this message and you do not know Jesus Christ that we are talking about, if we do not know the one that we speak about with intimate relationship, if you don't know Jesus and you never heard of him, or maybe you have, but you have never ever made a decision to have Jesus as Lord of your life, this is the great opportunity. Could this be your key to open that door so that you can enter in to eternal life with Jesus? All you have to do is to accept him. You can just simply pray and say, Jesus, come into my life. I receive you. I believe you, the son of God. I receive you in my heart as my Lord and my savior. I repent of all of my sin. And I ask you to help me walk this new life with you. If that's you today, receive salvation today in Jesus' mighty name. If you don't know, uh, uh, maybe find someone that knows about the Lord or go to a church, find a church that's close to you. And I pray our prayer is that the Lord will bring Christian alongside of you so you will uh, connect with. It's so important. It's time. 2021, as we enter to 2021, I believe that there will be more and greater and increased unity unity of the body of christ unity of believers because when unity is there god commands a blessing god just want to pour out his blessing but we need to come together walk together rise together and do great exploits together because the lord says for those people who know their god shall be strong and do great exploits if that's you today welcome to the family of god Hallelujah. This has been an amazing, amazing time with the Lord to hear the voice of the Father. I want to thank you so much, Pastor Len. Thank you so much for uh, bringing forth the word of God. May the Lord bless you in this year and what's left of this year and the new year to come. Yes, we shall go forth and do the great exploits for the, for the glory of our King. Minister Tien, I want to thank you so much for bringing forth the word and the heart of the Father. I thank you both. God bless you and God bless your families. Pastor Len, would you um, close our, our recording with prayer? Thank you. Thank you all so we much thank for you, everyone that join us. Go ahead, Thank sir. you so much, Lord, for those who are listening to this light broadcast around the globe. The word has gone forth to the north, south, east, and west of the nations of the world. And it is our prayer today that word will fall into good ground, ground that are well prepared, fertilized. So in the days and the months and the years to come, it will surely bear forth good fruits that will remain for a lifetime. 
and also multiply over and over and over again. We thank you that we can be instruments of your word today, showcasing your word and your life to those that are listening to our voices. Thank you for this great opportunity also that we can speak forth to the nations of the world. And we thank you that come next year, we are surely expecting, looking forward for a great year of productivity in our life as well, in the ministry as well as in the kingdom of God that you have given us. And for that, we want to give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. God bless you all. We shall connect again when the Lord says. God bless you, viewers. God bless. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. God bless.